morning, good morning, fam. Good morning. London left out already. Sis came up, go shopping. And they done went shopping. So I'm starting the vlog today. What I'm about to do is I'm about to head over to Denny's. Y'all, if y'all don't know, we found we got a new we got a new vlog camera. Long went and picked it up yesterday. Um Sony A5100. It's actually pretty cool. The different a couple differences from the um, Canon is it actually comes with a lens so the lens um, that it comes with it zooms pretty quick which is cool um, and the clarity is is actually very good I'm, I still haven't I haven't really played with it but I'm using it right now um, we'll see we'll see I mean Lon did the research so <clears throat> I want I, I actually was going to purchase this about when I, when I got the other camera, I was going to get this as well. And I had it in my cart and I was like, we don't need that. And I wound up taking it out. So, here we are with it. Um, not to say I told you so long, but I told you so. But I'm glad we got a new camera. Um, like the Canon, um, but needed something needed something else for what we want to do. Um, I haven't been to Denny's since we... We used to go to Denny's all the time in New Jersey. Haven't been to Denny's since we came to maryland have i don't know but new jersey spoiled us because the food is like places here like say for instance like a in, in maryland right fridays nasty but in new jersey like when i say the service the food like you would have thought you was at a gourmet restaurant fridays in new jersey because the food was always hot so good and it actually had like flavor here in Maryland, all I, all I can get is chicken tenders and fries, but haven't found a good Denny's that is just as good as that. So hopefully this Denny's I'm going to go to today is going to be good. I thought about going to Crocker Barrel, but then I was like, nah, I ain't doing all of that. All right, so I'm about to go to Denny's. Be back in a hot minute. All right, y'all, so I just got the Denny's. I don't know what I want, so I'm looking at the menu. I'll be back over in just a few minutes. Alright, my man. Order the strawberry lemonade. I usually get the ultimate skillet. But I think this time I'm going to do French toast. Do y'all like Denny's? I could have went to the Waffle House. Do y'all like Denny's? If y'all do, what do y'all usually get when y'all come to Denny's? I like the ultimate skillet with hot sauce, chalua sauce. You know what I'm saying? Well done. So tell me what y'all get. I think I'm going to get French toast. I got the Santa Fe skillet, then I got a side of French toast. That's what I normally get. So that's what I'm gonna eat. Put the order in. Let's wait for that joint to come out. Vlog with your boy today. Had to hold it down for y'all. So food came out. Now I ordered French toast too, but the dude forgot to put it in. And I didn't get mad because he owned up. He said, look, dude, I forgot. I didn't, I didn't realize I didn't put it in. He said, I'm gonna put it in right now, I'm sorry. I was like, man, I appreciate you taking ownership. I didn't say that, but I was, what I was saying to, my, to myself. Cause I hate when people try to blame it on, oh, I put it in, let me see if the kitchen got it or something like that, I don't know. But here's my food. I drenched my food with hot sauce. So I got the potatoes, green peppers, um, and onions, sausage. This is the hot sauce I'm using. Never had this before, but once the French once the French toast comes, I'll add the French toast to it, and then we'll go from there. French toast finally came out. Oh, that looked great. All right, all right. So I'm just leaving Denny's. Food was cool. Still wasn't like my my Denny's spot like this it's just I don't know why it ain't it ain't it don't do right I needed to do right I hate going to places where you can see the people cooking because if I see one thing that throw me off it's gonna mess me up and I saw this one lady back there I don't even know she was supposed to be back there but she had like this uh this paper towel like a wet paper towel oh snap let me turn it off Y'all see what type of music I be listening to? That's my cousin, uh, Dante Winslow, playing the trumpet. 
Yeah. I'm doing every time. Um, damn, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, so the lady, the lady, um, the lady, she's sitting there in the back, not supposed to be in there talking to the cooks or whatever. Got this little paper towel that's like wet in her hand, folded up in a nice little square, and she take <coughs> coughing in the paper towel, and then could start talking again. I'm like, lady, I already had my food, but I'm just like, nah. If my food was back there, I'd tell them keep that mess. I'm out of here. Um, but she, she wasn't a cook. She was just back there. I'm like, nah, lady, you need to be you need to be out in the front with the rest of the uh, waitresses. I don't know what you're doing back there, looking sickly. Come out to the front. Um, stuff like that blow me. That's why I don't be wanting to. That's why I don't be wanting to. You know what I'm saying? See, I rather I rather go somewhere where I, I can't see what they're doing back there. Even though I guess it's better to see, but nah. So what I got on the agenda for today? I've been we've been watching we've been watching this um series called Blacklist. I'm watching this series called Blacklist, and it's about I don't want to tell you too much. So on Netflix, it's about a uh, a criminal who surrenders to the FBI, and they begin working together. Um, but they have two mutually exclusive they have they have mutually exclusive interests, but they also have uh, joint interests as well. So it's, it's pretty good. Me and Lon, we just started watching it, and we got through the first season in like a week. Twenty two episodes a season, so you know when we binge, we binge. So now we on season two. And we're getting into it. It's actually, it's, it's good. It's good. If you haven't watched Blacklist, I would definitely say go watch that. Um, but on the agenda for the day, I'm going to watch some Blacklist. Like I said, Lawn Sister is down. Um, they went shopping. I'm sure she'll stop through the house. But I did, uh, I put up all the pictures. No, I got one picture to put up left in the um, loft. Put up all, all the other pictures, though. Put up the mirrors. Put up the TVs. Do that up. It's crazy how... Um, this is for the brothers out there. It's crazy how once you learn how to do something, you look back and you're like, Dad could have been doing this all this time. Yo, putting them TVs up, I would be pissed at myself for ever paying somebody to do that. Because it literally, I literally threw them TVs up in 15, 20 minutes. Once you know how to do it, it's like wham, bam. You know what I'm saying? And to think I, somebody was trying to charge me upwards of 200 or something. Now, I get it. It's a lot of work if you got to do it from scratch. Mine, I moved over here. I didn't have to do it from scratch. Originally, uh, it, when you learn, it, it, it does take a lot of time. If you got the time to invest to teach yourself, teach yourself, man. I'm taking my butt in the house. I'm supposed to be sleeping today. This is my day off, day of rest. And hopefully, I can catch up with Lon and see what's going on. Um, where she at? What she doing? All right, y'all. Lon was knocked out. Um, we watched one episode of The Blacklist and then was gone. I had to go in the room because I was up for a little while longer. Got this, um, I went out and got, what did I do with it? Hold on, let me come over here. It's going to be dark for a second, y'all. Sangria. I always try a different one every time I go grab one. But this joint... It's actually very good. It says it got oranges, lime, um, grapes, two types, and lemon. Um, some some grapes will be having all of that in it, but this actually tastes pretty good. At this point, I'm going to be turning over the vlog to Lawn. So y'all get to see a little bit of your girl um, before this vlog closes out. But thank you for rocking with your boy today. I know it's a different feel, different vibe, you know, um, but appreciate y'all. Hey y'all, I'm back on the vlog. So I'm pretty sure Henry already told you that I went out um, to go like do some home decor shopping with my sister earlier. I didn't get any, well I got two things but they're like really minuscule, like it really doesn't even matter. I got just some hooks because um, we need some hooks by the front door right there above the light switch um to put our keys on because we didn't get any for the new place and i just got a mug that was on clearance it was like two dollars so i got this mug it says but first coffee and i literally only got it because it was on clearance i've been looking at mugs lately and i've been telling myself i couldn't buy it but since it was only two dollars i bought it it was a dollar 98 actually to be exact no i don't i didn't get anything else that's all i got so i was 
because um, I just went to the grocery store and I would have took you guys along but um, the grocery store that, store that I've been shopping at is Lidl. Remember when I went to Lidl the first time? That is the grocery store that is my grocery store of choice now. Um, since the very first time that I shopped there, I liked every single thing that I bought. Nothing tastes funny, except for those sausages that I told you guys I was taking back. Um, nothing really tastes funny. Everything is very fresh. I like the market, the presentation, everything. So um, I've been shopping there lately. So because I wasn't able to take you guys into the grocery store because they don't allow filming, I just want to show you guys my little mini grocery haul. It's not that much stuff. I'm going to just go through it really quickly just so you can see what I got. So this is everything. It seems like a lot, but it's really not a lot. Um, so Lidl had buy one, get one free K-Cups. I was like so pressed over that. So I got one box of French vanilla and then the box on the bottom. What's the box on the bottom actually? Oh, this is French roast and the bottom is vanilla. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. So those were buy one get one free. So it was like two boxes for three dollars. Everything. Got some diced tomatoes for my bolognese that I'm gonna make. Got some um, pineapple slices, some tomato sauce for bolognese, um, chicken bouillon cubes, minced garlic. Ran out of garlic powder, so I got some more of that. Some heavy whipping cream. It's just something I love to keep on hand. I usually don't buy regular whole milk, but I'm going to need it for the bolognese. And you got to use like regular milk. You can't use like almond milk or heavy cream or anything like that. Um, I got some cheddar cheese for like our eggs and whatever else we need cheese for. Some kettle cooked chips, y'all. Y'all know kettle cooked chips be like 4 or $5 in the grocery store. Especially like the Cape Cod brand. These were like $1.25 everything also got some ground turkey because i'm gonna make some more of that um turkey teriyaki that i made in like a what's for dinner before some linguine noodles and i actually did i actually went to two grocery stores most of this mostly like mm, 80 percent mm, no like 90 percent of this stuff came from Lidl and 10 percent came from giant so this is one of the things i got from giant some pasta um, chicken wings came from Lidl. I got two packs of those because Henry loved the fried chicken that I made the other day. He gonna shake his head, but you was pressed. I'm zooming up on you. He loved the fried chicken that I made the other day for cooking with lawn and wanted me to make some for Sunday dinner tomorrow. So I got that. Got us some bacon. Um, some garlic mashed potatoes. These I got from Giant. I also got us some croissants. So at Giant, if you get day old bakery items like they just baked these fresh yesterday um if they have some left over then you'll get it 50 percent off so i was happy but i needed eight so i had to get another pack at regular price but i'm not gonna need all these right now so i'm gonna just freeze them um some mayo i got some turkey and cheddar because we're going to use that for some of our lunch this week some eggs and then here's all my produce um some regular red grapes from Lidl I got three lemons always need lemons on hand zucchini because zucchini is good for sides or um Henry likes zucchini noodles got some shredded carrots some onions broccoli florets scallions I got some tomatoes and a whole bag of avocados because these little mini avocados were three dollars and y'all know they be taxing on avocados avocados be like a dollar and fifty a piece sometimes two dollars a piece so if i can get a bag of six for three dollars insane so yeah that's my little quick little grocery haul y'all this is my last weekend before i start work isn't that crazy so like i had to get a lot of different things that i could make for lunches and um like things that that are very low maintenance that i could take for lunch um and i had to like think ahead for dinner like what we're gonna eat how i'm gonna ask henry to like help me prep and stuff like that so i'm excited are y'all excited for me like let me know down below in the comments i am just ecstatic i'm trying to savor my last few moments as having like my last weekend before work starts so i'm about to put away all these groceries <laughs>
to Chipotle and get us dinner while I went grocery shopping. So I'm going to eat that for dinner. And then we're really just going to have a nice relaxing night in. Henry bought us some wine. We're going to relax, watch Blacklist, and just 